Today I'll show you the easiest free tools to customize your default account page into a good design like this or actually any other design you want because these tools and steps can help you create all of this. We'll go step by step so it's easy to follow. If you're new here, my name is Shekhar. We publish five videos a week for online businesses. So welcome to our channel and let's begin. Now, to remove these navigation buttons, I need to add a code snippet. So to do that, click customize here and on the left sidebar, scroll down and click additional CSS. Here, I need to paste my code snippets. You can find these code snippets in the description below. Now, I'll paste the first code in, which hides the navigation buttons. And then I'll paste the second code snippet. And as you can see, the hello text expands to the full screen. Let's publish it. I'll go here and click publish. Let's close this window by clicking here. Now it's time to design our account page. Now, you should know that adding images, plugins, and other customizations can slow down even a new website and drive away customers. So whenever you're building a new site, remember to first install a free plugin called Airlift. Basically, you just have to go to this website, click sign up, then enter your website URL and download it from here. Then go to WordPress, click on add new plugins, drag and drop this plugin here. Install and activate it. And your site will automatically get all the speed optimization it needs and you should see a 90 plus speed score like this. This will also ensure that your site stays fast even if you add more things to it. So it's a good long-term tool to have. The next step is to go to plugins, add new and search for Elementor. Click install and activate it. Now, come back to the account page, hit refresh and you'll see this new option called edit with Elementor. Click it and it opens in a new tab and click on settings. Now change this to Elementor full width and then hit update. Now we need to add a header. So I'll simply go here and click this button and it adds a container. In the left sidebar, select full width. I'll make minor adjustments by going here. Now I'll go to style tab and add an image like this. Right now it doesn't fill the screen. So I'll quickly customize the image by changing the display size to cover, turn off repeat and make the position to center. Great. Now this is quite bright. So let's add an overlay like this. And yeah, it looks perfect. Next to add a text widget, I'll simply drag and drop it like this and then edit the text to say my account. Now let's go to the style tab and change the color to this. Now click on advanced and there are a bunch of options here to change font sizes, change margins and other such design changes. I'll quickly go back to the style tab and make it center, add some margin like this. I like the design right now, so I'll just hit save. Now I want my navigation buttons on the top and the account section on the right. So let's add this section with the buttons like this. This section is not aligned properly, so I'll go to advanced and decrease the top margin like this. Okay, now that's done. Let's make the account navigation buttons. In the sidebar, I'll search for the icon box widget and drag it into my left box. I'll remove the text and the icon using these options in the sidebar and then edit the heading to say dashboard. Now let's add an icon like this. All right, I'll also make this a circular icon like this and then go to the style tab and edit the settings. You can do what you want, but I want to keep it a bit large. I'll just change the size like this and then edit the colors. Okay, this looks a lot better now. Next, let's go to the advanced tab and then make these changes. I'll add a background color like this. You can also use an image, but I'll use this color. I'll add a border like this and change the radius to 20. I'll also add a box shadow. Awesome, my first button is ready and to make more buttons like this, I'll simply copy and paste it like this. 
I'll also change icons, text, and when everything is done, it will look something like this. Looks perfect. I'll also create a separate section here and click this. And then change it to 75% like this. I'll also change this to 25%. Now I'll move the shortcode here and add few more buttons. In the sidebar, I'll search for the icon box widget and drag it into my left box. I'll remove the text and the icon using these options in the sidebar. Now let's add an icon like this and then make these changes. So I'll make these buttons a little different like this, but the process is mostly similar. Okay, I'll also add a hover pop-up animation like this. So whenever someone hovers over the icon, it pops up. And under content, increase the spacing like this. Under this layout option, I'll add some padding like this. Similarly, I'll duplicate this button and repeat till I have all my buttons. Then I'll edit the titles and icons like this. Okay, now that's done. Now let's link these buttons to the page that should show up when someone clicks on it. I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard, click on settings, click advanced, scroll down, and here you will find all your account endpoints. So I'll copy the endpoint for orders, then go back to the Elementor tab, select the button orders and type in account. Now I'll select the account option like this and paste the endpoint name after it. Then we'll do the same thing for other buttons as well. And when that's done, click here to save changes. Now, if I go back to my site and click the buttons, they will show me the related content like this. Next, let's also add a recently viewed section. I'll use this plus icon to add a new section. There's no title. So I'll drag the title widget from here too. Let's name it to something like, you might have missed these. Awesome. Now I'll go to style tab and change their color from here. And when that's done, then I'll search for a recently viewed widget in the sidebar. Here it is and drag it over here. The text isn't aligned with the section. So let's also increase the left margin from the advanced tab. Okay, everything looks good. So I'll go down and click the update button. Now let's see if everything is working properly. I'll go back to my site, hit refresh, and we can see that everything is functional. Also, in this three minute video, we will show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.